Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be testing out the Makeup Forever New Concealer. Anti-creaseless, smooth and blurring. I want to test it out. Um, I also, for funsies, I have been testing out the Makeup Forever Foundation. So, I have two shades. I want to go ahead and test these out with the concealer. I already know how this performs. And then, I thought we would test the powder out, the Twist and Light powder. But, I have not used this and I don't want to affect how I feel about the concealer with this powder. So, we're going to hold off on the powder, but for today... I am going to be using the foundation and the concealer in the new Makeup Forever. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to be using the Tower 28 Rescue Facial Spray just to kind of give my face a little something. -some. For my hair, I tried the Sophia Richie hair tutorial, except I did a ponytail. Okay, for primer, um, just in my pores, I'm going to be using the MAC Surreal Skin Super Canvas Balm. Um, and just putting that to diminish the look of my pores. It's also like a moisturizer kind of thing. Okay, and then I have two shades of the Makeup Forever foundation. I have 1N14 and 2N22. I think the darker one is definitely going to be my shade for the day. I'm going to go with 2N22 for today. I'm going to apply this with a brush. Because I want more of kind of a lighter coverage, I am going to be using the Sephora Pro Foundation 64 brush. Um, it's definitely a mixture of bristles. It's not as dense, um, and there's like some air to it, so it's going to give us a lighter coverage. So I'm just going to dot this on my face. But this foundation is actually really lovely. As you can see, this brush has definitely kept more of a lighter coverage for us. But still looks gorgeous. It's definitely like a your skin kind of foundation, semi-matte. I'm a big fan. So I was excited to try out the concealer. So I got the shade 1.3N, which is pretty light. We're just going to go in. The applicator is very thin and almost flimsy. Hopefully this doesn't dry. This whole thing, this whole face that I just did was with one um, insertion in the tube. So let's see how it gets on. Oh my gosh, that took like no effort to blend that. I'm also going to use this as a eyeshadow base today. Does this say full coverage? I don't know how I feel about this. I'm going to go in with this some more. I think what's throwing me off is that it doesn't, it's very dewy. Like, do you see the, that sheen? It's very dewy. And to me, I feel like the creases and the bags under my eyes are more accentuated. <laughs> I don't know. But I think it's because of the finish. I am not a super big fan. Of yeah, I don't know. Let's go ahead and... Stop playing with it and set it down and do the rest of our face. <laughs> I'm actually going to go in with Cream Bronzer. It's the Give Beauty by Gwen Stefani in Toastin. It's the Pick It Up Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. And I love this thing. And I'm taking the Japanesque 718 brush for the cream. 
This is a gorgeous bronzer. It has nothing to do with this video. But this brush, however, the Japanese 718 sheds. She sheds. So if you're not prepared for that, don't get her. Because I do want to test out. I have a blemish peeping through on my cheek. I want to see how well it covers up blemishes. There's no claim. It says it smooths and blurs, but I just want to see if it's going to be able to cover her up. You know what I mean? So. The answer is no, which it's not a full coverage concealer, so it's not like it's disappointing, but yeah, no, that did nothing. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but it's settled into my crease. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt, and we're gonna just set it. I'm setting it with the, there's no cap on it, with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. I have been testing this out. But so far, I'm in love. I just hate this mini packaging. It's almost gonna make me buy the full size. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the powder bronzer in the same Give Beauty palette. And I'm going to be using this brush for the first time, so. Um, yeah, so this is the Tom Ford Six Face Brush. We're gonna see how this performs. The reviews are actually quite terrible. But I think for like bronzer or even like blush, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the bristles are so. Yeah, I like the brush. I don't think it's bad. Love the product more though. If you want to try. Okay, and then for blush, I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Bronzing Powder in Maui. Yes, bronzing powder. But it's not a damn bronzing powder. Look at this. It's like the perfect cool tone pink with a little bit of shimmer. If you like shimmer, you like this, but I love this. And I'm gonna take a BH Cosmetics 3 brush from one of their sets. It's just like an angled brush. And we're just gonna tap it in. I loved this um, blush for the summertime because it's just done. Especially when those uh, cool tone, this, well this cool tone shade was like super popular, but I definitely would not call this a bronzer. Okay, for lips, excuse me. For lips, I have three options, I'm not really sure. Um, probably should do the eyes first, what am I thinking? Okay, so for my brows, they look very warm. Not used to this, but I use the L'Oreal Brow Shape Stylish Shape Fill um, in the shade Brunette, and the NYX Brow Tint Pen in the shade Caramel. So of course they're going to be warm, but they look good. They look full. I just I'm not used to this. <laughs> so we're gonna keep it going. Moving on. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna use Makeup by Mario, and I'm just gonna kinda do a speed through. I'm just gonna use like two shades, is what I normally do. Um, I use this shade, which is Matte 4, I hope. Matte 4, and the one below it, Matte 8. And those are the only shades I really use from this palette um, for like an everyday look. And that's what I'm doing today, it's just an everyday basic look. So let's just run into it and blend these on my eyeballs. I'm going to be using the MAC Nice and Spicy to line my lips and the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in Bronze Glow. So let's go ahead and put this on my lips. So for lashes, I think I'm going to use my last set in this Kiss Poise Looks So Natural Natural Effect Lashes and I'm going to be using the Kiss Liner Glue to apply them. Using the Beauty Blender Setting Spray Booster to set my whole face. 
I tight lined with the True Beauty Coal Eyeliner. So wrapping up my thoughts on the concealer, um, I think setting it down is fine. But yeah, it's a lighter coverage. I would not say this is a full coverage concealer by any means at all. Um, but yeah, I think it's nice right now. It's not my favorite concealer, but I will check in with you guys later and give you an update. So I'll see you guys in a few hours. Okay, guys. It's about, I don't know, nine hours later. <laughs> I'm ready for bed. Um, but as you can see, the glasses are on, and they have been on. <sighs> um, and yeah, I'm just coming in to kind of give my final thoughts on the Makeup Forever Concealer. So, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of creasing under my eyes. And I don't know if you can also see that it's completely gone kind of towards my actual uh, eye like I feel like there's no coverage up here but you can see that it's here so I don't know how I feel about it definitely have to set it down I, I don't like it when it's not set it's too dewy and glowy for me. I'm not a fan, but I definitely think I need to keep testing it out. But yeah, that's my final thoughts. Um, but so far, it's not terrible, but it's not my favorite. So, love the foundation though. <laughs> but yeah, alright guys, have an amazing night.